All right, <clears throat> so like uh, a few days ago, I made a video that was uh, it was a, an exaggeration about how sad I am about uh, Seth Rollins being injured. Uh, but now I'm going to be a little bit more serious here and talk about how WWE is totally fucked. Now they are in deep shit. I mean, for the for, for, they've been in deep shit for a long ass time. They've been fucked for a long time. But now this is like the final straw to go. This is Seth Rollins was the only hope we had there in WWE of anything good. I mean, Seth, this injury just shows how weak, how pathetic this company is. Look at the state of this company right now. Do you have any legitimate... I'm, I'm not even talking about talented people. I'm talking about main eventers. People, you know, who are you know, can, can, can be considered a top guy in the company. Well, Cena's gone for the moment. Um, Orton's hurt. And who else? The only guy you got is Roman Reigns. That's it. There you go. That's your company. Roman fucking Reigns. That's it. You got Roman Reigns as your only top guy. How lame is that? Roman Reigns. So that, right, right there, then and there, first off, you don't got en enough top talents. And second off, the, the top talent you do have sucks. He's horrible. So, and then we look at the rate, ratings of this product, which is going down the drain. It's going way down. And people were, oh, you know, people were always telling me, oh, well, you know, the guys you like aren't big draws. Uh, uh, saying a bunch of bullshit. Well, look where the company is now. You know, maybe if they would have went with those guys, it would have had a little bit better ratings. You know, the ratings are at like 2.2s. That's like the lowest that they, they, they've been in the history of Raw. It's, I heard, I was listening to a Vince Russo pod, you know, a little video he made on YouTube. And he's like, yeah, the Raw viewership's down. I think he was said like 800,000 viewers from this year to last year on one episode of Raw. I mean, this company is going down the toilet. Do you people understand that less people are now watching the product? Yet they just keep doing the same shit. They keep pushing the same boring people. They keep pushing Cena. They keep pushing Reigns. They keep pushing all these people. And then they mistreat the ones that we do that we like. You know, if you're Vince McMahon, you see the fucking ratings keep going down. You think, well, shouldn't I do something about it? Should, should I react? And he just keeps doing the same shit. I mean, if I didn't know who ran this company, I would think it was run by a bunch of mental people. I mean, the way they run this company is just so, it's just so dysfunctional. It's so pathetic, and it doesn't make any sense at all. I mean, usually on every episode of Raw, you could pick out at least a few things that are illogical, that don't make any sense whatsoever. You're like, well, that doesn't make any sense. You know, one week Paige hates, you know, Charlotte and Becky, and the next week she's like hugging them and all over them. No sense, you know, no, no sense at all. Oh, Big Show is supposed to have an ironclad contract, yet they're firing him. Does that make any sense? No, it doesn't. There's so many things about this company that that are just so hor that, that 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 are so horrible. They're in a bad. This company is in a horrible state with Seth Rollins being injured. Um, it's not looking good. And oh, who do you think is going to be champion next? It's obviously going to be Roman Reigns. I mean, who do you think is gonna? Who, who who do you think they're gonna put it on? You know, Dean Ambrose. No, yeah, right. You know, who 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 else would they fucking put the title on, other than Roman Reigns? He's gonna get it. There's no doubt about it. You know, I, I there's no fucking doubt about it that he's gonna get the fucking title. I mean, I I'd be I gotta do something. You know, if Roman Reigns doesn't get the title, I should do something like really crazy on this channel. You know, but. Yeah, he's going to fucking win. There's no doubt in my mind about that. And yeah, I mean, this company is, yeah, it's fucked. It, it is. It's been fucked for a while, but it's going to, the next six months for, from when Seth Rollins is out, it's going to be, you know, they're going to do some like John Cena versus Roman Reigns match in the future. Now they're going to hype it up. Oh, Cena versus Reigns, a huge match. You mark my words, that'll be like a Royal Rumble or WrestleMania match. Um, and, I mean, the only thing they could do to make it halfway entertaining is turn Reigns heel somehow. You know, that that might make it a little bit more entertaining, but it doesn't change the fact that his promo ability sucks. 
uh, and, and um, he's got no in-ring talent whatsoever. And, and why do you think he was placed in this company? It's because of his fucking uh, of the fucking rock. That's why. That's the only reason he's here. If he if he was, you know, a random person in the Indies, there's no way he would have even come close to coming in this company. Probably wouldn't even even have gotten a job in the Indies for that matter. You know, if he if he did, he would be wrestling in a fucking middle school gym for like ten people, and they would be booing him too because he sucks. But anyway, and but instead he's the number one guy in the company right now, wrestling in front of twenty thousand people. And yeah, the ratings are going down. They're going down the drains. Seth Rollins was so mistreated as champion. I, I mean, look, look at the treatment of, of Roman Reigns versus Seth Rollins. Reigns w was looked ten times stronger, at least. Than Seth Rollins. Yet Seth Rollins was was the champion. I mean, they this company is just so dysfunctional. Just everything about it. They, they seem like they fuck up everything. Everything they fuck up. They don't push anybody good. You know, it's like Kevin Owens. They get they they, they make a beat scene and we're like, oh, they're finally pushing somebody good. Nope. Ha <laughs> ha. Gotcha. No, they're not. They're not gonna push them. It's you know I I gotta stop because I'm just gonna keep ranting on forever about this company, but without Seth Rollins they are extremely fucked. They are done for for the time being. I mean there's nobody good in the company really. The people who do have talent are jobbers and mid carters at best. I mean you got Kevin Owens who's the Intercontinental Champion. He went from beating Cena to being the Intercontinental Champion. The Intercontinental Champion is a piece of it's a piece of shit belt. It doesn't mean anything. It doesn't. If anything, it, it it means you're worse than, you know, not having the belt at all because jobbers only jobbers carry around the IC belt. I I, I in, in the U.S. title isn't that more prestige. I, you know, at least with the U.S. title, you know, Cena had it for a while there and was defending it every night, which made it seem a little bit you know bigger. But I mean, look at the IC title and people who have held that belt like Wade Barrett and. You, you know, uh, the Miz, jobbers like that. It's it's pathetic. But, but uh, and Ryback too, it's not like Ryback's a fucking, you know, top guy on the, on the card. But anyway, you know, before I get too carried away, I'm going to end this video here. But yeah, WWE's fucked without Seth. And it's a shame to see him uh, get injured like this. Because this, are, this will only pave the way to see that horrible ass wrestler... Roman Reigns at the top of the company. So, fuck Roman Reigns. I'm probably going to do another poem. I did a poem on him. Um, like, uh, I think it was like the beginning of this year. I did a poem on him. People liked it. So, I think I'm going to do that again. Do another poem on him. Um, so, the, the, there you go, people. There's my, uh, there's my rant on WWE. And the reason why WWE is fucked. So, there you go.